As we return to Chicago, the lineups for tonight's Game 5. And if the Indiana Pacers are confident they have reason to be between the regular season and the playoffs, they have faced the Chicago Bulls eight times. Each team has won four. Almost every game has been close. In fact, through those eight games, Chicago has scored exactly two more points than the Pacers. Larry Bird, three-time MVP, three-time champion with the Celtics, first-year head coach, and the NBA's coach of the year. Chicago's starting lineup includes Ron Harper, who was not suspended, but rather fined $3,500 for his part in the fracas toward the end of Game 4. Kukoc has started four of the five games, as Hannah Storm pointed out, so he might have been the starter anyway even if Phil Jackson is upset with Dennis Rodman for arriving even later than is his want prior to game five. Who knows what Dennis is thinking. Miller is on Michael, who backs him down and hits off the glass. Michael into the lane, and he scoops it up and in for his second basket. Smiths returns it to Jackson, then screens for it, gets it back, and misses the 20-footer long. Pippen into the lane, left hands it home. Pippen gets his own rebound. Michael wants a three. Michael has a three. Hoiberg now has to contend with Jordan. Which, as you see, is not a pleasant task. See, that, that's not fair. You, you got to come help Hoiberg right there. You can't let him stay down in the post trying to guard Michael Jordan, the greatest player of all time. Travis Best can't connect on the three. Extending back to the first period, the Pacers have now gone more than the equivalent of a full quarter. More than 12 minutes without a field goal. Michael Jordan. Derek, I think they came out waiting to absorb the blow, and the blow came so hard and furious from the Chicago Bulls that they've yet to respond to it. Smiths forces one up and finally hits it. His first field goal of the night and the Pacers' first field goal in unbelievably 14 minutes. Michael gets rid of it to Scotty, who banks it home. Jordan from Pippen. Sweet as you please. Michael finds Long Lee running to the hoop. Chicago right now is executing to perfection. You know, you see Jordan's mentality right now. They're running every screen hard. Now you watch Pippen right there as he throws it out to Jordan. Jordan will square up. Stare McKee down and shoot it right through the bottom of the net. You watch him as he's backing up. I feel it. Five on the 24. McKee shot blocked by Longley into the hands of Pippen. Here they come. Harper all the way to the hoop. Got it. Plus a foul. They are running the Pacers out of the building and back to Indianapolis to try to regroup for game six. They're gonna run that same play again with Scotty to the outside, this time off a screen roll. And give it go. It's a beauty. Plus the foul. Antonio Davis picks up his third. Here's Scotty Pippen now. You're gonna watch guard to the outside. He hits, and then the give and go. Scotty using his speed and quickness so the Pacers cannot put their body on him tonight. Speed is winning. 15 for Pippen. Jordan's on the bench with 17. And Scotty, all over the place, nearly steals the inbound. Scotty Pippen has bounced back out from missing those two free throws. You see him driving, attacking the basket, using his speed to counteract 
what the Pacers are trying to do in terms of putting a body on him. You see, he accepts the challenge, accepts the blow right there. Then he blows by him again on the right side to hit the pull-up J. Now, when you look at Scotty's shot chart, you'll see everything going to the basket, and you'll see him really attacking this right side of the court. Larry Bird told us that he wanted to keep him under 14. Not tonight. Schmitz. Mullen trying to follow. Harper shoves it back in his face. Here's a three-on-one break. Two close to Hello. The numbers are reversed there in a most unappealing way for the Pacers. 74-47, now 76. Now Michael Jordan was calling for that ball the whole way up the court, and he was a little disappointed that Ron Harper didn't keep going because he knew he had a mismatch with Davis in the corner, and he back cut him. Rodman may have fouled Jackson. And he did. Now you watch Jordan running really hard, and he said, come on, Ron, don't stop on me now. So he takes Davis out to the corner. I'm going to lure you to sleep, or I'm not thinking about doing anything. As the ball goes in the post, boop, I'm gone. Bam, there it is again. Michael, turn around. The glass. When Michael put a little X on the floor on that same spot, that's where he started the game. And it's like, I want to get to that spot tonight because when I get there, I can do whatever I want to do. Scotty flips it out to Kukoc. Rodman to Michael, an open three, and he has 27. See, that's the beauty of the triangle. Once they get you down, then their tempo controls the game. They spread you out on the floor. They keep the spacing. You make mistakes because you're overexerting yourself defensively, and they start picking you apart. And now they take it away again. Here's Michael to Kukos. And the lead is 31. Indiana is saying, what in the world has hit us tonight? 87 to 56. And they come to their feet at the United Center in complete appreciation of the performance put on by the Bulls tonight. Pippen slots it right back at Jackson's face. Michael from half court. The way things have gone tonight, it wouldn't have been that surprising had he made it. Scotty Pippen. Now you're going to watch here. Mark Jackson's going to back the ball down. Scotty says, don't help me. I have him. Don't help me. You stay with your people. And Mark Jackson says, I'm going to back you down. Now, this is not Brevin Knight or Charlie Ward. This is Scotty Pippen. And Scotty says, uh-uh, Mark, not tonight. And that's sort of been the story. Scotty Pippen and Michael Jordan have been magnificent. And magnificent defensively, as you see throughout their careers. Here is Michael. Throwing one up on the run, and it's another thing of beauty. 35,000 career points, regular and postseason combined. 35,000 exactly. 29 of them tonight. Indiana got it down under 20, which is small solace. Bushler just holding the ball. Now unleashing a three at the horn. Chicago wins it 106 to 87.